Praise be to the Eucharistic Heart of Jesus. On this fifth day, in preparation for the death anniversary of the servant of God, Mother Mary Francisca de Chantal, we present to you the spirituality of Mother Chantal, the girl foundress of SAPS. My delight is to do your will. Your law, my God, is deep in my heart. Psalm 48 As we look deep into Mother Shanda's spirituality, we can see that these words of the Psalmist were true to her. Her life was a total surrender to the will of God. When she became a widow at a young age, she bowed her head to the divine will. Mother Shanda's life was in constant communion with the Eucharistic Lord. Even when she was at home, she went for daily Mass, overcoming many obstacles. Thus, from early childhood, she developed a personal attachment to the Eucharistic Lord. She spent long hours before the Blessed Sacrament, conversing with Jesus even in the old hours of the night when no one was around. She was near the tabernacle when everyone else would be sleeping. She claimed that it was the best time to chat with Jesus. She could pour her whole heart with its entire feelings before Him without anyone around to disturb. For Mother Shandal, everything led to prayer. As she opened the doors and windows, she prayed, Let the doors of heaven be opened for her, and while she closed them, she prayed that the doors of hell would be shut for her. According to her, there are 15 virtues in every act that one does, and it is upon these virtues one could build up one's spirituality. They are as follows, divine virtues, faith, hope, and love, evangelical virtues, obedience, celibacy, and poverty, virtues of purification, Mortification, silence, and penance, heavenly virtues, remembrance of God, prayer, and submission to the will of God, virtues for community life, humility, patience, and community living, suffering. She was very strict with herself. She got up very early, sacrificing the pleasure and temptation to sleep longer, avoided siesta, and keep perfect silence. She was very punctual for all the community exercises. Therefore, on this special day, let us try ourselves to imbibe the great spirituality of our beloved Mother Shandal for the growth of our spiritual life and let us draw closer to our Eucharistic Lord.